Today we're going to talk about CH knives. Uh, these are really cool knives. I think they're very underrated and they're a good value for the money. Uh, this is the model CH3504 and this is the model CH3507. They're really good knives. I like them a lot and I think you will too. So let's get into the video. Okay, we'll talk about the 3504 first. This is the original uh, CH3504. Uh, I originally bought this off of Amazon several years ago. Uh, it was $99 and it came in, uh, the steel version it came in is S35VN. Uh, they don't sell this on Amazon anymore. I was looking around the internet and I f they do sell this on well. Uh, White Mountain knives, but they don't sell this color and they're out of stock right now. The steel that they were using on on this particular, this is a titanium version. This is like the cheaper version of this version, but the version on White Mountain knives is M390 steel, which is a really good steel. Uh, I, I actually prefer S35VN over that steel. And this is the cheaper version, it's modeled after this version. This is also uh, the model number CH3504, but the, it it's like slash G10. Uh, both of these are really good quality knives. This one's still sold on Amazon. You can get it in three colors. I checked it out on Amazon, and right now it's selling for $30. I saw that it's like 20% off right now. So you could actually get this less uh, for less than... $25 right now. So this is a pretty good deal on Amazon right now and it's a really good high quality knife for the money. Now if you do go on White, White Mountain Knives to buy these knives, uh, you could use uh, coupon code LTK. It's another YouTube channel. I'm not associated with the channel but I know that if you put LTK you can get 10% off. Uh, but that's also a cool uh, knife channel. I've, I've been subscribed to it for years. In fact, it was his review of this knife that made me buy it years and years ago, uh, but this came out a long time ago. Okay, both of these are really beautiful knives. I don't own any, any uh, hinderer knives, but I think they are getting the design cues from those knives. I've seen pictures of them, and this looks similar to like a hinderer design. They're not trying to pass it off as a hinderer knife. It's their own knife, but I think some of the design cues are coming from Hinderer knives. But uh, this is the original CH3504. You see the model number right there. It's got CH on it on this side, and on this side you have the knife steel. It's S35VN. On White Mountain Knives, I was looking at it, and this uh, the M390 version of this, and it wasn't this color. It was like a bronze color. Uh, but it's out of stock, and they're selling it for like $170. And even at that price, this, this knife is worth it. It's a really beautiful knife. Uh, I own several CH knives. I don't like all of them as much as I like this one, but they're all done pretty well. I remember on uh, LTK's channel, Love Them Knives channel, he used to send knives out to get them tested to see if blade steel was really D2 or whatever they were claiming. And this is really D2, so CH Knives is giving you real D2. He's verified that on several of their knives. I don't know, some, some people might find this skull design a little off-putting. I like skulls, so this is right up my alley. It really, you really can't tell how cool this knife is and, unless you have it in your hand. Try to get closer on that scale. These are uh, titanium scales. It's colored blue. It, it changes color, it gets a little purplish depending on how you have it in the light. Really cool pivot pin right here. I like that design. On this side, you have a milled titanium pocket clip. Uh, you have a steel insert right here in the frame lock because uh, titanium's a little softer than steel. Uh, that way you have steel against the steel of the blade. And uh, it's a really, really nice drop point blade. Uh, it's got a nice little swedge here. The blades look very similar, as you can see, other than the, the more expensive version. On the back here, on the flipper, it has a hole in it. And this knife is so super smooth. I mean, it's silky smooth. The quality of this knife is unbelievable. Look at, look, look at how this just drops. 
Uh, it's really thick blade stock. I mean, this you're getting a lot of S35VN. I measured this with my caliper, but I, I'm getting four millimeters on this and four millimeters on this one also. And this one, uh, it also has bearings. It's, it's also very smooth. You can shake this thing closed. Uh, really good quality. Uh, the pocket clip is kind of plain. Uh, you, you're getting bearings in the pivot point, really smooth. You've got a G10 backspacer here. Uh, you have a hole here for a lanyard. And it doesn't look like you can switch this pocket clip. So this, this pocket clip is on one side only. Uh, the jimping up here, it's smooth, but it's kind of big. And, and it's really a perfect kind of jimping. Okay, if you look on the inside, you can probably see if I get it close enough that the liners are milled out for weight relief. To give you some of the specs on this knife, uh, the weight is 5.4 ounces. It's pretty much full flat ground. It's it's very slicey up into this wedge. Uh, the blade is 3.6 inches long, so a little bit longer than 3.5, but uh, this is the cheaper version of this model. And this, this is the original model. I'm glad I bought this because you can't hardly find these anymore. And this thing is just silky smooth. You see how it dropped just like that, man. You better have your, your fingers out of the way. Now this one, this is the CH3507. This is really my favorite design uh, out of all the CH knives that I own. I own like five or six different versions of CH knives. It's a really beautiful design on this knife. Very streamlined, very refined. It's got a really beautiful swedge in here. And then it's got like a flat part right uh, after the swedge. And then it's flat ground from here all the way to the end of the blade. And uh, it's a stone washed finish on this D2 blade. Uh, it's got a nice little pivot screw right there. If you can see in here, hopefully you can see in here, but the liners are milled out for weight relief. And this particular knife is 4.7 ounces. I actually like both designs, but this is just my favorite. On this side of the blade, it has D2. And then on this side of the blade, it has CH. And then there's the model number and really small print right there. It's gonna it's gonna say CH thirty five oh seven dash G ten. And this one's pretty smooth too. Wow. I mean, for a thirty dollar knife, I mean, just just and I haven't messed with the pivot on this or anything. I mean, that thing just drops down. And the detent is perfect on it. When you overcome that detent ball, it just rockets out. And it's got, uh, just like the uh, 3504, it has kind of like large jimping here on top. And it's not very aggressive. This one feels like a little more grippy. Uh, it's not as smooth as a 3504. And it comes down to a pretty fine point, but you, you have so much thickness right here, that's probably a strong point. And the stone wash on this blade is just beautiful. And uh, this one's pretty easy to sharpen since it's, it's kind of straight up to that tanto point, and then it curves. But you can put that this flat part here on a strop and get it just hair popping sharp. So this is a CH3507. This knife, the 3504, uh, when, when you look for it on Amazon, it's really, it's gonna come up under uh, Ethan Grow. I think that's how you pronounce it. it it's, an, it's not an Ethan Grow or Ethan Grow knife. It's a CH knife, but I guess Ethan, they're selling it under their name. The knives on White Mountain Knives, they have this version, the cheaper version, but instead of G10 scales, it has micarta scales on White, White Mountain Knives. And also the blade, instead of D2, it's uh, VG10. And uh, the scales on Amazon, I believe they come in black, brown, or jade G10. And I actually own all three versions. <laughs> I know that's out of control. You know, I've got problems. I like this knife so much. I've got all three colors. And uh, this is a really good high value knife for the money. Okay, to give you the rest of the specs on this knife, uh, the blade is 3.74 inches long. And overall, this knife is eight and a half inches long. So it's a, a, a tad bit longer than the CH3504. You can probably see that if I put them down and I kind of level it off. You can see this is a little bit longer than this one. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed looking at these knives. If you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see y'all next week.